Uh, and then the scope he's hit it dead center every time. I'll expect my paycheck in the mail, mate. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I also give myself a fat lip because I didn't think it was as sensitive as it. <laughs> Good morning, out and about. Legends! Right, something completely different today. We're not out exploring, well not really, and we're not cutting around the place. Today, we are at a gun range. We're gonna fire some weapons and turn some ammunition into brass. Okay, so we have a guy called Joel, who's got a pretty good gun collection. And he's um, brought us 308, I believe he's got with him today. 308 you have with you, isn't it? He's got us 308 with him today. So we're going to, um, bought a box of rounds or so, we're going to sit and have a wee go at this and see how we get on, okay? So, um, I'll show you around, we'll see what we've got, and then we'll watch him do some shooting. He's a bit of a dab hand at the three of it, um, and I'll have a crack at it as well. So, let's see what today brings. Boot and a boot. The sound of gunfire on a Saturday morning. All the weapons that you've got for sale, and they've got like a wee club house in here. Pretty good. Right, let's get to the range and get the three weight set up. Some bullhorns. Schmooly, have a look at this. Now that is the bad boy. You wouldn't fancy going on the other end of that, would you, Joe? Nah, I reckon it'd do a little bit of damage to you. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a tad. Right. Gonna get it out, get set up, and we're gonna walk the um, range here, I'm sure, to find out what we can put up for shoot at, which is that away. Right, so we're gonna take a bimble down the range. Obviously, safety is. Um, is paramount so before we go down he's going to change the range from range open to range closed yep Good. so range closed so. yep so bolts removed from weapon magazine's been removed from weapon the weapon is clear we have range is closed let's walk the range now obviously in a previous life ranges were something we used to do i used to do all the time but admittedly this is like only the second time i've ever been in my shorts and t-shirt and man firing weapons so um yeah feeling very relaxed and looking forward to a, a bit of fun that's a swinger um, if, you, if you hit that with a bullet as some people have already done you can see it's uh, been struck several times um it'll swing from the weight and if you look down range a little bit more there's a few more larger swingers out at uh jules a swinger <laughs> Fuck. jules a swinger <laughs> you were waiting for that jack weren't you that was <laughs> right so fresh targets going up yeah so we'll just take these ones down i'd like to note that these are not my targets so these horrible shots or good shots depending on how well we do he's putting himself under pressure here yeah i know right Right, we're going to test Joel's knowledge here on his weapon system. So he's going to run us through the 308 that we're going to be firing today. Um, and he's got a nice sexy side on there as well. So uh, here's Joel, tell us all about it. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is my 308. It's a, a Tika uh, T3 um, varmint barrel on it. Um, this is not the original stock that came with it. This is an MDT ESS chassis um, with a pistol grip. Um, Really reliable rifle, really accurate rifle, especially with that varmint barrel. Uh, for those who don't know a varmint barrel, if you have a look at the profile of the barrel, it's, it's rather thick. Um, it allows it to absorb that heat a bit better. Um, uh, what else? I got a three to eighteen um, scope on it. Yep, um, uh, with a what's described as like a Christmas tree sight. So as you go, so as you go further down, that's your hundred meter mark or your point blank range. And as you go down, there's more little dots below it going out in a Christmas tree sort of pattern for wind deviation and distance. Um, just helps with uh, accurately getting shots off. Um, comes with a 10 round 
magazine um, and that just goes straight up in there uh, it is a bolt action weapon for those who are wondering um, or who just don't know um, but yeah it's um, it's a it's a good rifle I've had it for two years now um, I've been able to stretch it out to about 700 meters um, but today we're just going to go out to 500 meters and uh, have a bit of fun on some steel targets awesome hey Joel's weapon you can see it's um it's pretty sexy I have to say it is pretty sexy so we'll um we'll get it all set up and then we'll uh we'll get some footage of Joel getting his first rounds down the range and uh we'll take it from there and see how we get on just going to open up the range here. Range 4 open. So all I'm doing now is I thought I'm seeing where the fourth shot was. I'm doing another foresight and um, just making sure it's on target. So that shot went high. So all I'm going to do is adjust the scope to bring the bullet down and now I'm just having another look through the board to make sure it's all good to go. So my first shot was out here and then I did the bore sight and we brought it in a little bit. Um, it's just a little bit difficult to see today with the overcast and um, just the light. Um, so I'm just going to bring it into 50 meters. And what So that one there was the first one out at 100. Oh, uh, that was actually the first one, but this one here was the second one out at 100 that was on the paper. And then I brought it into 50 meters and I decided to um, group it a bit better. I brought uh, just a scope so that the shot would now move over to the left. And that was the second shot there. So that shot over there, um, I believe was a flyer and was affected um, whether that's the ammunition or the barrel heat or whatever and so I put another three down range and so you can see there's two there one there and then that was the final shot there in the in the final square all right so I'm happy with the grouping and the zeroing of that rifle um, I say what do you think Scotty I reckon we hit that spinner just out there at the 100 meter mark let's go for it and then uh, let's push you out to some distance at uh, 300 400 and 500 I'll do what he wants to do. I'm happy to do it. So sensitive. Yep. Wow. Missed right. Yeah. So the trigger on the trigger on this is um, quite light. Um, if you've fired any other weapons before, you'll know that different trigger mechanisms have different trigger weights, and you can adjust the trigger weight on a Tika. Uh, 
Um, yep, so this scope is actually measured in yards. Um, yeah, we're going to shoot out to meters. So we're going to do a bit of quick math and a bit of Kentucky windage on the scope. So first rounds may not be on target, but we'll walk. So what we're, we're, what we're going to be doing is walking our targets, uh, our bullets onto target. And what I mean by that is uh, Scotty and I will watch where the fall of shot is. We will see it splash on the ground, a little bit of uh, dust will kick up from the round hitting the ground or behind it or around it. And we'll see how much I need to hold off um, on the rifle. And then this is where I was talking about before with the Christmas tree sight, right? So if I have my Christmas tree sight and I aim here and the round hits down here, well then what I do is I on my Christmas tree sight, I move the dot that is closest up to the target and that's my hold off. Um, I'm no by no means an expert, I'm by no means a crack shot or whatever, I'm just an enthusiast trying to learn what I can so we'll give it a go. Hit. Fucking first round on target. Proper jerk on that one. Yep. Right. Nice. Which one are you aiming for? Huh? Which one are you aiming for? That 500 on the left. Gotcha. You can see it just pop at the top. See it? Nah. Be good if I had the fucking binos the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, out and about legends, something a bit different today, as you can see. Um, I hope you've enjoyed coming along, watching Joe explain his 308, and then watching us have a wee shot at it, like the 500 meter. So it was, um, it was a good morning. So we're now putting the baby to bed, as you can see. Night, 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 night. Have a good <laughs> sleep. And um, I'm sure at some stage we'll have a. What's the next weapon system you want to use? Uh, I reckon we'll get the Mauser out, the old World War II Mauser, and we'll see if we can hit anything out of 200 RPM uh, uh, on Yeah, so he's wanted to go out to 500 meters on iron sights for this, the old World War II rifle. But hey, it's all safe, which is the important thing, but it's uh, it's fun also. So we'll, we'll see what it's like when we give it a shot. So um, I'll leave this one here, YouTube fans. Uh, just like to thank Joel for coming along and showing us his weapon system today Anytime. and letting us do it so um we'll catch you again do the usual like share subscribe and we'll see you again in a bit